Welcome to the Empaths Revolution podcast, the home of intersectional spirituality. Empaths Revolution is a platform dedicated to empowering, informing and supporting empaths and other spiritually sensitive people via podcasts, expert guests, blogs, books and personal one-to-one and group support. I'm your host, Harris Eddie Hill, and I'm non-binary, neurodivergent and an intuitive empath. I'm a podcaster, best-selling author, NLP practitioner and timeline therapist, and I'm pleased to bring you today's episode. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to bring to you today a chat with Sarah Morgan. Hey Sarah, thanks for joining me. Hello, thank you for having me. It's very exciting. Yeah, likewise. (laughs) So Sarah, for people who don't know about you yet, and they should, what do you do? Tell us, tell us what your, what your focus and your purpose is all about at the moment. Okay, so um, I recently actually have created a Facebook page called High Vibration Club. Um, And before that, as you know, I'd been a law of attraction and manifesting coach for about four and a half years. Um, But I've really specialized recently um, in focusing on helping people truly raise their vibration. And this is talking about stored vibration in your body, not just your transitional in the moment vibration. And so I very much specialize in helping people to become predominantly high vibration in their stored if they want to reach 100 percent high vibration in their stored vibration um, and specializing in helping people to awaken as well, which is something I never thought I would have said two or three years ago. And so that's very much what I'm specialized in and passionate about at the moment. Mm. And I think it's fascinating that things have kind of evolved in this way because you know, for a long time uh, beforehand, I watched a lot of the, the manifesting stuff that you did and, and we worked together at different points. And it was always interesting to me uh, when I was working on my own manifestations and stuff that certain things were just difficult and it wasn't a lack of, it wasn't a lack of an attitude issue on my part. It was that I was kind of working against old vibration and old energy And um, like you were saying before we started recording today, so much of, sorry, the guinea pigs are just drinking water. They (laughs) just distracted (laughs) me. (laughs) I'm house sitting at the moment. I've got like three guinea pigs, a snake and a three-legged cat here. (laughs) Wow. Diverse. (laughs) Sorry. Um, So, yeah, I I think it's been really interesting to me that, you know so much of the talk around manifesting before was and my own attitude to it as well was very much about like well you know if you practice enough and you try hard enough then these things will happen but I know from my own exploration and then you 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 know you talk about it as well that you know unless we're actually dealing with the things that are tripping us up then it's just going to be really difficult a lot of the time and sometimes impossible to kind of move forward and bring and create new stuff in our lives right yeah and um, I mean my journey I was obviously so good at the transitional day-to-day vibration because I was a manifesting coach Um, and so the whole concept of stored vibration as opposed to your in in the moment transitional vibration was so new to me Um, and it is leading edge insight Um, so you know as part of what I specialize in at the forefront of it and at the center of it is the fact that I'm a believe accredited practitioner so there's only seven of us in the world currently and we specialize in coaching or supporting people through the believe releasing process which is this leading edge process that I discovered about two and a half years ago now which brought to my attention stored vibration because I heard you know, I was manifesting awesomely, but I definitely reached a manifesting ceiling. It was like I couldn't go beyond it. Um, and then, like you just said, what you come to understand is actually 
if you have low stored vibration and you will have and this is the thing that is so fascinating to understand if you haven't um sort of completed the believe releasing process because it's about completing it if that's what you're wanting to do you will have low stored vibration it is the only process on the planet that will take your stored vibration to 100 high um and so for me as a manifesting coach having like nailed all the transitional vibrational tools having followed the incredible esther and jerry hicks who i adore and so much else it was like oh okay this is leading edge this is so important to understand um and as a as someone that had taught manifesting for so long it's like really um eye-opening and um like enlightening to understand that actually if you don't tackle your low stored vibration there are going to be things that you're not going to be able to manifest because that low stored vibration is creating the resistance but also how enlightening and freeing and awesome to know that if you release it all release all of your low stored vibration it's like well then nothing needs to stop you you're like literally limitless in manifesting whatever it is that you desire whatever it is that you truly want um and so for me it was such yeah it, it was it was just like a real kind of oh my goodness I didn't even know low stored vibration was a thing um and so this is why I'm so passionate about it and this is why I use the term true high vibration it's not just you're in the moment transitional it's tackling that stored and most people don't realize they have it because I didn't <laughs> I had no clue um so yeah it is awesome to be able to understand this and now to also be able to do something so powerful about it mm, that's amazing so how does it feel because you were just saying that you know with your manifesting you reached a ceiling so how does it feel now that you've gone through your own awakening process and you've tackled all of that stuff like what's the manifesting and, and the other stuff oh. like now so um it's so much broader so starting with feeling good so i used to have to use mindset tools each morning. I wrote two books. So I wrote, wrote Welcome to the Beginning of Everything That You Want, which was a 21 day guide to transitional vibration, as now I understand, but to manifesting. Um, and I wrote another book around money manifesting. Um, and it, they were all like tools to help you feel good in the moment. And I would dream day journal each morning and meditate and do manifesting evidence lists. And all of those things were so powerful for your transitional vibration. But now my stored vibration vibration is 100% high um, and what I do just want to kind of point out is that everyone can do this I'm not special because I used to think you know you had to be Buddha or something to uh, awaken or like I don't know it's like it, I just want to make it really clear that everyone can do this if you're willing to go with the believe leasing process everyone can get to 100% high store vibration um, but now I am 100% high store vibration it's like I don't need the mindset tools it's like I just feel desire and it's so much more potent because I had a lot of low stored vibration, if you can believe it, as a manifesting coach that was getting in the way of desire energy. And so now on a day to day basis, even this morning, I was like, it's like I get to pick from the buffet of life. Like, what is it I want? It, like, there's nothing that can stop me. And there is so like wonder filled every day is like really wonder filled with these moments of just like massive love and excitement and possibility and just I get to choose and so now it's just really freeing um and I know whatever I really really want and I always say this that manifesting you have to really want it because it's got to really excite you and when you really want that thing that really excites you it's going to come in if you hold, you know, if you hold your vibration around it. And that was the thing before awakening was I had to work hard at holding my transitional vibration. And there were days it would be high. There were days it would be low. Now being 100 percent high vibration in my stored, the transitional vibration is so much easier to just keep solid and steady and um, to keep energizing those desires is so much easier. And so manifesting, it's like sarah and my higher self sort of just flowing to me before it would take a lot of energy to kind of manifest one thing now it's like it just slips streams into my life and it's not just one thing that manifests it's so many different things and it's not just about the material things it's about feeling wonder in each moment and knowing that like your whole life is yours for the taking like you can literally do anything so it's like a much broader 
I don't know, richer, um, more deeply wondrous, loving, exciting, limitless experience. And then I just feel like I'm just getting started. And I awakened probably around this time last year, trying to remember now. Um, and it's like, I feel like I'm just getting started. And so it's, it's just, it just cracks everything open. I don't know whether that makes sense to you mm. kind of on the listening end of this, but it's, it's so much more than just about focusing on manifesting kind of one thing or a few things. It's like your whole life is yours for the taking. What the frick are you going to do with it? And you get to choose. And so it's a very, very different energy now to what it was before. Um, and I love it. As you can tell, I'm so passionate about helping everyone to feel it because everyone can if they choose it. Yeah, I love that. I love that. So for people who are a little bit curious about this, I mean, you know, like I, I remember back in the day where occasionally you mentioned things like anxiety and then obviously through the believe and release process, like that's old programming that you get rid of, right? Or like it's not there anymore. Yeah. So for instance, for somebody who's suffering with anxiety, like what would that believe, uh, believe um, release process look like? possibly so um so basically the believe releasing process is exactly the same process for every single person and the wonder of it is you do it with your higher self and this is why it is the only process that can get you to 100% high vibration because you're doing it with your higher self so you don't need to work with a practitioner most people are just picking up the book the belief book by Liv and Raph it's written by Liv and Raph Okanya so it's not my book but I'm very closely um linked if you like energetically also as well as physically to Liv and Raph Okanya because they supported me through my awakening because actually the reason sorry, I'm sort of going what Sarah and my high self's flowing me to kind of say here when I started the believe releasing process I didn't actually know what it was I was going to be starting all I know is something happened in my life I had never felt fear like it and it was a lot of ang like really heightened ang ang anxiety and I you know my high self kind of pulled me and gravitated me towards live and wrath and I was like I don't know what it is that you're teaching but all I know is I never want to feel this kind of level of anxiety and fear ever again. And that's when they started sharing the Believe Releasing process with me. And that was about six months before the book was actually made available. Because it's probably been available for just over two years now pub, pub, publicly. So I started working with them. And so um, it, it's the same process for every person. It's you working with your higher self. The book talks you through how to do it. There's loads of free stuff on my Facebook page as well. And then if people are wanting to work with a practitioner, I'm one of them. But basically, you're literally working with your higher self. How it works when you're releasing your low store vibration is they're going to highlight to you that it's in you. Because most of the stuff I was releasing, I had no clue was even stored. You know, I was releasing fears that I had and, you know, and low vibration that I had no idea was there because especially when you've been in the kind of transitional by by vibration arena for so long like I'd been you get so used to pivoting away from things that don't feel good whereas actually when you're working the believe releasing process your higher self's role is to highlight that low stored vibration to you so you'll feel it in the moment and then you allow your higher self to flow you whatever it is they want to show you around why that's there how it's impacting your life and basically the root experience of it if you like that's where you start as you go further through the believe leasing process it becomes much broader than root experiences but when you start that's where you start and then in they and this is the wonderful thing you don't have to logically work it out where it comes from they know exactly what to show you because they've been with you your whole life they only ever love you they know everything you felt everything you've experienced everything that you've thought even so they know exactly what to flow to you in order to bring you to an understanding with love that allows you to then create new truths and when you create those new truths in the law of truth with your higher self the associated low stored vibration leaves your body so it's the same process for every single person and the, the wonder of it is your higher self has the roadmap to exactly what it is that you need to release um and so you do it with them and this is why it's awesome and why this book is just selling more and more copies all the time because 
like anyone can do it if they're choosing and allowing of it then anyone can do it so does that kind of answer the question yeah definitely so for people who want a bit more of an example like what what might a session or you know if you're doing a session with yourself or somebody else what might that look like so um okay so if I'm doing a release with a client it's very much uh we you know the client tunes into their higher self and the benefit of working with a practitioner is that it's faster basically I know if it wasn't for working with live and wrap it would have taken me a lot longer but there are loads of people that do it without working with a practitioner it's just some people like to kind of work with someone to guide them so on a session um will work with whatever their higher self is highlighting to them. So if they're coming onto the session and they've been feeling, I'm trying to think of an example because I'm doing this all day long, but like say someone's been struggling with feeling fearful for something for like a few days, that's their higher self trying to show them something to release. And so what we do is we kind of, it's very much me supporting them. It's not me doing anything to them. It's me supporting them because the idea is they can do this, you know, on their own also without needing sessions with me all the time, but we'll feel into the emotions that are going on underneath that feeling. And then we'll receive from their higher self, whatever it is their higher self wants to flow to them. And generally a release, if a client's doing it with me can take around an hour sometimes a bit longer um when I do a I um offer like releasing upsurge sessions and that's like an hour and a half session and like when you do that session you will release basically so it's like I'll kind of hold the vibration for the client and just help them these sessions are good if people have things that um are quite big things that they're feeling they want to release it kind of I just hold the energy for them but they're doing the receiving with their higher self I might get a bit of extra guidance from their higher self to help them but they are the ones that are doing the receiving um and then they create truths and they've released the associated low stored vibration but what sarah is asking me just to kind of i guess explain is that it is a process it's not like you do one release and you're 100 percent high vibration in your store it is a process generally um to complete the believe releasing process it takes between 12 to 18 months um but there is something new that us practitioners are offering which is now possible which is to help people awaken and do pr a predominant amount of releasing in just four weeks now through a program that's called the broadest truth um and that very much i mean that's incredible the vibrational uplifts from clients that i've been working with ranges from between 20 percent to 50 percent so on average more kind of 30 to 40 in four weeks they're shifting that much low store vibration out of their body so that can be done a lot faster now um so again there's information about all of that on my website but also on the believe website which sorry on the fifth dimension earth website which is living Rath's website um so it's just it's not called it's actually simple it's about just tuning to your higher self which you can do through the exercises in the book or you can do facebook page or i know live and wrap on fifth dimension earth have um a free higher self program as well so it's just about tuning to your higher self and then allowing them to flow to you whatever it is they want to flow to you to help you to release so it's not hard actually in terms of it's not complex but it's it because a lot of people I work with want to get to 100% high vibration because a lot of people I work with are passionate about that but you don't have to you you know at this moment in time only five percent of people on earth have a stored high vibration that's 75 percent even getting to 75 percent high vibration as an example you're still in the minority but to be able to get to 100 percent it's so special live and wrath were the first people on the planet to do that and now everyone else that's doing the believe releasing process and completing it are getting to 100 percent high vibration in their stored vibration also so it's like it's a really exciting time to be physically human and to know about this process yeah that's amazing are you looking to get your energy in order, spring clean your life and manifest things you actually want? My Align Your Life Starter Pack has helped people to relieve insomnia, anxiety, to 
to become grounded and to manifest exciting new things as well as cut energetic cords with people who were draining their energy. And as a bonus, it's designed with non-visual and neurodivergent people in mind, so it's more accessible than most things currently on the market. Affordable and instantly downloadable, you can find it at mooksharrishill.com forward slash mybl. Align your life, reclaim your power. So what's it like being 100%? high vibration well it depends what you want to do with it everyone's different it allows you to be the freest version of you all that you are um and so much opens up for you if you want to explore it so if you want to you can really start to explore your non-physical team and again these are words I never thought I would have said two or three years ago I was very much through two or three years ago about demystifying law of attraction and making it not you know sound out of reach because I was very much like it works for everybody uh in the same way now I really want to demystify non-physical as well everyone has a non-physical team everyone can work with non-physical I was just never able to before because I had so much low stored vibration but when you're 100 percent high vibration working with non-physical is just the norm if you want it to be um plus you know you can receive and translate non-physical without mistranslation that's really awesome and there's a chapter in the believe book talking about translation and how low stored vibration kind of can impact that so that's one thing it's like having these awesome non-physical guides that are here to help you and support you max out your physical experience however it feels good to you um also we all have energetic capabilities within our souls okay one of mine is vortex decluttering as an example which again is a leading edge energetic capability that allows you to kind of take off the table any manifestation requests that are fear labeled or that are no longer relevant and most people are walking around having a massively cluttered vortex if you think of all of those desires they've created over their lives that might not be love labeled or might no longer be relevant that's just one example you know physical you know energetic capabilities can be things around physical healing they can be things to help you in your everyday life i'm working with energetics at the moment that are going to help me become like an awesome singer as an example it's whatever you want to do it's not about being serious it's about being fun and limitless so energetic capabilities are another thing that open up for you um but also your energy your vibration is felt in such a different way even if it's at an unconscious level people feel your vibration um so so powerfully um and you don't have those fears holding you back you are you are all that you truly are you don't have that low stored vibration getting in the way of you just loving your life basically whether you want to be a coach like me whether you want to be the best parent the best sibling the best co-worker whether you just want to live your life because even me as a practitioner that's not all I'm here for I'm here to love my life and to try everything and to just be as the best version of me that I can possibly be which becomes truly limitless when you let go of that low stored vibration you kind of feel anything that was stopping you just totally fall away and you stop searching that's the other thing I always say to people I'm so often guided to say it. it's like you don't search anymore like so many people are searching for ways to feel better like I had been I tried counseling anti-depressants anti-anxiety -ang meds and things over the years that's part of the reason I was drawn to the teachings of asking it's given because I was always looking to feel better once you've released your low stored vibration and you have found the believe releasing process and your non-physical team you don't need to search there's no more searching there's only exploration through wonder but there's no more trying to find the thing that's going to make you feel better it's like once you found this there's no more searching there's just living and wonder and limitless exploration it is immense so yeah that's amazing have you always had a sense of this or is this something that you come to in adulthood because sometimes the conversations that i'm having or the things that people say to me that i just sort of go yeah i get what you mean if i'd have witnessed this even 10 or 15 years ago i'd have been like you're weird man 
<laughs> so yeah so basically I never in a gazillion years three years ago would have thought I'd be sat here now helping people to awaken because I thought you had to be chosen or special to awaken that word kind of if I'm honest repelled me about three years ago I was a bit like that sounds a bit weird like it's not really my bag um and working with non-physical again three years ago I was a bit like mm, it sounds a bit weird I'm very much about demystif- demystifying law of attraction staying away from anything that sounds a bit weird because that is how it felt to me um and so I think a lot of people that followed my journey the reason they've all started awakening or have awakened is because they've seen my journey in real time going from someone that was like no I'm just demystifying everything to oh my gosh actually this is normal it's accessible to everybody they just if they choose to need to shift their low stored vibration so from that point of view I never would have imagined I'd be sat here doing this now but then on the flip side I was passionate about vibration and manifesting and I was asking for more I drunk up all of the transitional vibration books and teachings if you like and I'd learned so much from Sarah my higher self who is very closely linked to law of of attraction um but I wanted more and this is why the belief book came about because more people were asking for more there were there was that kind of groundswell of people wanting more and so in that respect actually maybe it's not a surprise that I'm here now and now I know so much more about who I truly am who Sarah truly is more about my soul contract now I'm starting to remember all of that again because I've released my low stored vibration it's like okay this makes so much sense now um and it always also makes sense why I didn't stop looking and I didn't stop asking and I didn't stop following those inspired actions which at the time I thought were from the universe and now I understand were from my higher self Sarah because everybody has a higher self also so I'm now just very passionate about demystifying this but yeah if you'd asked me three years ago I had no clue this was on the radar at all <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so how how has I mean you talked about um during your manifesting days about how you had gone from I think you were dog walking walking part-time weren't you and then yeah. within no time at all you're in a position where you didn't need any other kind of supplements and you were like you know I can earn enough doing what I love and there were days when you just weren't working because you yeah. wanted to just have the day for yourself how has it um going towards this high vibration stuff and the believe and release process like how how has that changed business for you? Um, it's a really good question. I'm never ever bored in my business. And what I know now is that it's like I trust Sarah, my higher self, even more. I trust that everything I follow in terms of how I feel, because people receive their higher selves differently. Um, and Sarah's very cognitive with me it's very knowing and feeling led I just trust um and also some of the things I thought I wanted back then I don't want now not at this moment in time it's not to say I won't ever but when I started mastering the art of manifesting it was very much like I want to be the world's leading manifesting coach I want to I want just massive bigness and actually at this moment in time that's not what I truly want what I truly want is just to love my freaking life I've spent most of my life like 40 years being predominantly low vibration in my stored vibration it's like I can manifest anything that I want but I don't want the big stuff at the moment yeah I want to be an awesome practitioner I want to help upsurge Earth's awakening but I want to love my life first I think that's the shift I think it's about I'm here to show so it's got to be people seeing how I'm living and me almost showing rather than just teaching and I think that's the shift now in my business it's like I, you know, most people don't need me to go through the belief releasing process. You know, I can't physically help every single person on the planet. That's why I have so much free content on my Facebook page. It's like, here's like, I've done a first release focus week as an example. It's like, watch those five videos and start releasing yourself. Let's go. That's how I want to help lots of people is by making it accessible to so many people. But actually the amount of time I spend working 
it's I want to work less than I even did at the start of mastering the art of manifesting it's like I only want to be doing one or two calls a day but I want to be having massive influence and that comes again because of the energetic capabilities I've opened up I can massively in, in, in influence um, through free will. You know, it's never against free will. This is not what this is about. If people are drawn to me, there's something about my energy that will help them get underway with the belief releasing process because of the abilities I've opened up. But for business now, for me, it's like, and this is very, very, a very powerful desire of mine at this moment in time is like, I want that just to be something that happens in the sidelines. I want to live and taste life. I'm 100% high vibrational now. I want to create new experiences, feel every inch of the earth. Like, you know, I'm looking at hiring or buying a camper van next year and exploring and trying new things all of the time. And it's like the awakening stuff, the practitioner stuff that happens in the sideline because I'm here to live first because that's what people want they want to live they don't want to work hard they want to live um and so I would say that is the main change now it's my desires have changed because it's about showing now rather than teaching that's the main change and it I love feels that. so good <laughs> no, that's fab uh one last question that I have is that um in the work that you do you talk about awakening a lot Mm. and I wondered if there's like a particular definition for that in your work because I know that for me generally I can pinpoint the moment that I awakened in the sense that in the general sense that I understand it and it was literally like a um a switch went in my head and <clears throat> it was when I was 25 and I was facing um early cancer and it absolutely shocked me and overnight, suddenly I cared about myself. I start, I felt like I, for the first time, was starting to look around and notice things and notice the people around me. And some of the people that have been around me for years, I was like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I don't know why I've put up with any of this. And, you know, that year was really turbulent for me. And I absolutely plowed through it, like anything that uh, all my relationships that didn't fit me. I was cutting people off. Um who were really toxic and I start and then I came across like the first um my first audio book and I'm now like a proper audio book junkie and I've learned so much so many different schools of thought and for me that was like a sense of a general awakening in that I it's like a big I became conscious I felt like I I had been unconscious up until that point mm -hmm. um, but obviously in in your work awakening is a lot more uh, specific than that and there's quite like a solid definition so do you want to talk about that yeah it's really it's really interesting to ask this because I have like I said I used to find the word uh, awakening I used to re repel it a bit um, and now I understand the true definition which you know um, is what we work with in the broadest truth program and you know you can reach your broadest truth and awaken up until a couple of months ago. It's something that would happen at the end of the releasing process. You just naturally flow to your broadest truth. When you reach your broadest truth, so the truth, the love label truth that wraps around your whole journey, that's the point at which the integer in your soul changes and acknowledges that you're awakening. It acknowledges that in any moment you can flow to love in any situation if you allow and choose it. Um, but you don't have to wait till the end of the believe leasing process now with the broadest truth program with that you can do it in four weeks and it just kind of moves everything aside that's not needed and just focuses on any releasing that's needed to just get you to your broadest truth and so there the one there's only one true definition of awakening and it's linked to that change in your soul that can only occur if you're able to create your broadest truth um, and when you create your broadest truth your soul acknowledges as i just said that in any situation you can flow to love and this means that no matter how much fear may occur in the moment for you, once you've created your broadest truth, you're able to call it energetically and quickly flow to a loving vibration when you allow it. Um, and there's kind of like three kind of broad, you know, three broader things to feel into here as well. It's like, how do you know if you're awakened? Firstly, you're predominantly high vibrational because you can't reach the broadest truth and awaken unless you are predominantly high vibrational so at least 
just over 50 percent that's the first thing secondly it's that you've reached your broadest truth and then thirdly you're living your positive truths and you're choosing love and so step five of the believe releasing process is living those truths and that can take a bit of practice as well so once you're kind of predominantly high vibrational you've reached your broadest truth and you're choosing love again and again and again you're not going back to fear that's when you know that you are uh, awakened and you're living that awakened life. But it's about the um, integer in your soul changing, which is so fascinating and wondrous to understand because once it's changed, it can't go back. Once you are awakened, the integer in your soul changes and it is amazing. Um, and, you know, I'm just sort of just looking at a bit of explanation here that we talk about in the Broadest Truth programme. It's like... Uh, being created you can't assure that you can perceive love when you allow it and no matter how loving you are no matter how much you love god without the broadest truth your soul will not acknowledge your flow to love so it's the broadest truth it's at that point that you reach your broadest truth that your soul integer changes and what's also really wondrous on the broadest truth programs like the percentage you're at because for some people that do the Broadest Truth program, they're up in the 70s or 80s. Some that have been releasing longer can be up in the 90s, nearly 100. When you reach your Broadest Truth at that point, your, vi your stored vibration sets and you can never go below it again. I mean, it's wondrous. As someone that works so hard at releasing, to know that clients, once they reach their Broadest Truth, it can, you know, on the Broadest Truth program, it can never drop below that percentage again. It's just awesome because you know you're going to be predominantly high vibration in your stored vibration for the rest of your life it is immense so does that kind of help because it's really yeah. fascinating to understand that I think yeah definitely it's amazing and um I'm just fascinated by how many conversations I'm having kind of like this with so many people now and uh I feel I feel it's an exciting time to be alive because I think people are starting to look at things of being like, oh, this doesn't work and like this doesn't feel good and I don't want to live like this forever. So there's so much of this going on and um, yeah, it's just, it's just exciting. It's really exciting. And I speak to people all the time who are not necessarily clients, but I'm just, and I can see it. And, and even if they haven't quite worked out yet what's happening to them, I can say with confidence, I can see the direction that you're moving and the way that you're changing and opening up. And like, there's no going back. Like, this is it. And it's, it's it so is. exciting, even it though I think like sometimes those catalysts can be uncomfortable or unpleasant. I'm like, I, I know this bit sucks and um, I'm not discounting that at all. But also I see how you're moving and, yeah. and the direction you're going in. And it's really exciting. It is. You're so Time to be a physical human, not just on our planet, but like in what live and wrath through fifth dimension Earth is now. Once you awaken, you can start to flow into a new energy called evolve you energy. So their first event around that is going to be at the end of this September. So I don't know, people might be listening to this in the future and it may have already happened. But once you awaken over time, it's going to be natural to flow into evolve you energy and in evolve you energy, you feel good, you feel you naturally become 100% high vibration in your stored um, like your connection with non physical is more than it's ever been before um, your energetic capability ever been before and this is where we're going here and there evolve you have time physical humans anywhere in the multiverse are going to be living in evolve you energy and you're right this is why there is such this shift at the moment because more and more people are asking for it and so you're i get goosebumps talking about it because you're so right it, there's never been exciting time to be a physical human um and i always say to people who are learning about the believe releasing process only been out for a couple of years it's like you've got your hands on gold dust here the search is off there's no old living ahead of us and so it is freaking exciting i love it that's a, yeah it's amazing sarah if people want to get hold of you where can they find you 
So my website is highvibrationclub.com and my Facebook is High Vibration Club also. Um, and you'll see on there, because um, I think there's another High Vibration Club that's an old inactive page, but my one, it says with Sarah Morgan, Believe Accredited Practitioner. But you'll be able to find all of that basically, which is highvibrationclub.com. Cool. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sarah. It's Thank been really you. good. I've loved it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed it and think someone you know might benefit from it, please do share it with them and leave me a review. If you'd like more resources and information, you can go to my website, mooksharrishill.com, where you can also join my mailing list or Facebook group to stay up to date and in contact. You can also connect with me on social media at Empaths Revolution. The Empaths Revolution podcast was created and produced by your host, Harris Eddie Hill.